Hey there, future political leaders and enthusiasts. Welcome back to AP Government and Politics Review. Today, we're diving headfirst into the exciting world of AP Government and Politics. We're going to unpack three vital concepts, elite democracy, participatory democracy, and pluralist democracy. These concepts aren't just words, they're the gears that make our political system tick. Let's get started. Imagine a luxury car showroom. Elite democracy is like that showroom, where a select few, often the wealthy or well-connected, have the keys to the power car. In AP government and politics, think about those super PACs that pour millions into election campaigns, effectively shaping political outcomes. Participatory democracy is like a lively town hall meeting where everyone has a voice, and the more people who show up, the louder that voice becomes. In your course, consider how early voting or grassroots campaigns empower regular folks to actively participate in politics. The more citizens show up, the stronger our democracy gets. Picture a vibrant community festival where diverse groups with varying interests coexist peacefully. That's pluralist democracy at work. In AP government and politics, think about the role of interest groups and lobbying. They represent different voices in our society advocating for their causes and influencing policy. So, there you have it. Elite democracy, participatory democracy, and pluralist democracy are the cornerstones of our political landscape. In AP government and politics, you'll explore how these concepts shape our government, elections, and policies. If you found this crash course exciting and insightful, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your classmates, and subscribe for more engaging AP government and politics content. And hey, if you have questions or want to dive deeper into these topics, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on this democratic journey. Remember, understanding these concepts isn't just for your exams, it's essential for active citizenship. Stay curious, stay informed, and keep making democracy work for you. See you next time on AP Government and Politics Review.